And I first met Alex Luxinger when I came here for my job interview. It was the night before my big all-day interview, and I had dinner with Alex and Andrea Tanner. And so I was really, really nervous because I really, really wanted this job. And I was a PhD student, and Alex was a PhD student, and I thought, well, I'll, I'll talk to him because that'll calm me down a little bit because Andrea was the head of the search committee, and I was really nervous. And so I was like, so Alex, you know, tell me about yourself. You know, what do, what do you do? You know, what's your background? And he said, well, you know, I was in the military, and I graduated from the J School, and, and I got a graduate degree from Columbia, and, and I worked at CBS News doing a couple things here and there for them. <laughs> and then he just got rolling. And he was like, okay, so the person that gets this job, you're gonna do this introductory reporting and writing class. And here's all the ideas I have for that class. And here's a, a project you can do. Here's what I would keep doing. Here's maybe what I would change a little bit. Here's some new ideas. Here's some projects we can do. And, and I wanna do this project on how to teach students how to editing. So, so maybe that would be a good project. And, and my dissertation is gonna be on ISIS and how ISIS talks to people. And I'm sitting there like, Who, what is happening right now? <laughs> like, this guy is nailing my job interview. Like, I'm looking at Andrea, I'm looking at her, like, what is happening here? And so I thought, okay, I have to get this interview over with. I have to nail this tomorrow before they figure out we should probably just hire this guy as opposed to this clown that's sitting here today. Well, selfishly, I'm happy to say that they didn't figure it out and they hired me for the job, but it was also selfishly really great because that meant I got to work with Alex a lot more. And I got to be, he was the lab instructor for that class we talked about. Uh, we were co-author on research papers and I was a member of his dissertation committee. And I also figured out really quickly that he really undersold himself at that dinner. Alex didn't just work at CNN, he was a reporter in Afghanistan and worked with some of the top producers and top journalists that they have there. He didn't just have some ideas for this class we were teaching together. He had game-changing ideas that helped our students become outstanding journalists, many of whom are still working in the field today with skills they learned from Alex. We have better Gamecock journalists because of Alex. And Alex wasn't just in the military, he was a Marine in Iraq and was later awarded the Purple Heart for his service to our country. Now Alex is at Elon University, and I know the students there are better because of him. They're winning awards, they're getting jobs all over the country, he's producing documentaries, and he's staying involved in the industry and doing an outstanding job of it. I could brag about Alex for hours, and I know this, we're all super proud to call Alex a two-time graduate of the University of South Carolina School of Journalism and Mass Communication, and we're now even more proud to call him one of our distinguished alums. Alex, congratulations. Nice. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Thank you. I'm, I'm really honored to be here. Uh, it's great to be back. I haven't been back to the university since 2017, I believe. Um, special thanks to my wife, Ashley, who's here tonight. She's also a Gamecock. Um, best thing that came out of USC for me, for sure. I um, want to just take a moment. We lost her father last week, and he was a Gamecock as well. So there's a, there's a big through line there. Now, uh, thank you to my sister, Katrina, who's also here. She's a gator. <laughs> so let's take a moment and boo her. <laughs> but thanks for being here. Um, I'm honored to receive this award, and it's also great to receive this alongside one of my contemporaries, Amanda Loveday, who's somewhere here, um, who you'll see next, who I knew as Amanda Alpert. And Amanda is a, sto a rock star. Um, She's helped me get interviews in Washington with Jim Clyburn and Joe Wilson and others. Uh, but you'll hear her story next. Um, I think that's just a testament to the relationships forged here at USC. Uh, when I came here, as you heard, I was just nine days out of the Marine Corps. Nine days. And it was a very intense uh, four years for me, if you can imagine. Uh, so coming here was really hard because, it, you know, as a non-traditional student, it was hard for me to sort of relate to people after that experience that I went through there. 
for better or for worse. Um, to say it was jarring was certainly an understatement. But I found, a, I found a home here. People were really kind here. Veterans were welcome here. Um, there was a burgeoning sort of veterans community from you know, my time during Iraq and Afghanistan. And so that made it, made it better. And a lot of people, I owe a lot of credit to a lot of people, some here, some not, for making that transition uh, just better for me. Um, so after I had a year under my belt here, we decided we wanted to do a troop surge in Iraq in 2007. And of course, I got recalled by the Marine Corps. <laughs> And just as I was feeling normal and you know things, I was I was assimilating and you know going to Gamecock games and so forth. I went and told Harvey Knocklinger, "Hey, I just got a FedEx package from the federal government. I don't think it's good, and I don't know if I'll be coming back." So they flew me out to the mobilization command in Kansas City, Missouri, and uh, I can't say a lot of the things that happened out there because it was it was quite the show. But nevertheless, I. Uh, didn't have to go back, and I was super grateful for that for a number of reasons. Um, I was fortunate here as a student to gain a lot of experience as a journalist. I got to work on the campaign, uh, the, the Democratic National Convention coming through Columbia in 2008. So that was a great experience with the Today Show. Excuse me, Today Show. I went abroad here, which was a very meaningful experience for me with Scott Farrand. Um, and produced a documentary, a sh documentary short about concentration camps and people that liberated those camps here in Colombia. Um, a few years later, well, down the road actually, I decided to uh, come back to USC because my experience here was so positive that I decided to pursue a doctorate here. And I didn't apply anywhere else, so I'm glad they accepted me. <laughs> um, you know, it's, I think it's really important. I wanted to go and try to educate young people. That sort of desire came from being a leader in the Marine Corps and then later in my classes here at USC is when I sort of got that bug to want to teach. And so I think it's more important than ever today to train the next generation of journalists, uh, for people to be good researchers and experts on artificial intelligence and emerging te technologies. And I think USC did a great job in preparing me for that. I want to give a, a special thanks to Dean Charles Bierbauer, who's not here, but he was a huge mentor and friend of mine. And he had emailed me about tonight and you know, wish he could be here. I also want to say uh, thanks to Kevin Hall for introducing me, who is on my dissertation committee. I don't know where you went, Kevin. Well, there you are. Um, <laughs> You know, he's just great at streamlining things, very bright guy, helped me out a lot on that. Andrea Tanner, my dissertation chair, getting me through when I had a little baby, five months old, fever feverishly pecking away at the computer, feeding him, putting him to sleep, teaching a class somehow. I don't know how it happened, but it did. Um, Randy Covington, Randy and I traveled to Russia together. He brought me on, on board of doing some of the Newsplex work abroad, which was very meaningful to me. Uh, we went to Oklahoma and Massachusetts as well. It was quite the experience. And Rick Peterson, who's here, senior semester. I met my wife in senior semester. <laughs> she was a friend of someone in our class. <laughs> And she wasn't supposed to be there. But I'm sure glad she was. And I also want to say a special thanks to Harvey Knocklinger, who's not here. And there are many other people as well. Um, but Harvey was always a great guy. And I really appreciated his leadership and mentorship. Thank you very much. Go Cox. Beat Florida.